cool. Welcome everybody to Market Masterclass. Today we're going to focus on one particular successful economy in Southeast Asia, Malaysia. It's an open and what they call an upper middle income economy because, interestingly enough, in the 1960s, the national poverty line estimated that over 50% of the country was below the poverty line. Now, in this day and age, it is less than 1%. Now that, to me, is a reflection of a successful and upcoming economy. For 25 years, the Malaysian economy was returning an average of about 7% per annum. And uh, recently, like most economies in the region, there's been a, a major slowdown. However, they do reckon that Malaysia in 2017 is going to start to grow again successfully. This is partly because originally it was a raw materials uh, economy with tin and rubber as the priority. Now it has diversified. It's a massive exporter, particularly of electrical appliances, electrical parts and components some palm oil and some natural gas. The private sector focus in industry and services has been a, a major boon over recent years and they reckon that, as I say, by the year 2017, the forecast is for the economy to start growing again. Partly this is due to the fact that the ASEAN group of countries in the region, uh, they work together, they link together, they help each other, and they are a very strong force. And this includes 10 countries, which is Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Myanmar, Cambodia, Laos, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam. And they, those 10 countries are doing extremely well as a, a unit to support each other. Malaysia itself has tremendous domestic stability and they have a very high consumer demand because of the fact that they have extremely low level of poverty in the country. So that's our focus today and Malaysia, in my opinion, is a very impressive history and has a very positive future. Thank you very much for joining us today. I hope you have a good day. Enjoy your investments and see you next time. Bye for now.